And welcome to uh, St Michael's Church in East Peckham. And um, uh, it's an early Norman, well, part of it is Norman. That wall that is over here is uh, dated to be Norman. Um, so it probably would have been an existing church that probably would have been built around it. And it's, it's part of the Church's Conservation Trust, which I'm <coughs> at present doing a lot of videos on. Um, because I sort of think to myself that, you know, it is uh, interesting to know that a shell of a former building is uh, interesting and interesting enough that even though it's a church and that even though, <coughs> even on my part, I'm not necessarily religious, I still find it very interesting that it's still part of history that should remain preserved. Um, this place was uh, facilitating the village of what would have been Royden at the time, but um, it was really a scattering of like houses, it wasn't really a village as you probably recognise it. Um, it served more for fa the family of, uh, I think it was Twydall, I think it was, or Twy sorry, Twydston, sorry, the Twydston family. Um, and it's probably one of those churches that really facilitate more f uh, small families um, than anything else, although the size of the church is actually quite substantial. Um, so yeah, it's been moved into Church's uh, Conservation Trust. The idea is obviously to preserve this for as long as possible and, and to potentially, at some point, hopefully use it for other purposes. Um, I know for a fact that there have been a couple of uh, bands I know who have actually used the Conservation Trust for churches uh, to do music videos in. Obviously under the strict jurisdiction and um, you know, <clears throat> their permission, obviously. Um, and yeah, I know it sort of, people argue that it probably takes the fun out of uh, exploring because it's somewhere that's really easy to get to and it's really accessible. But I think the fact of the matter is that historically it is very, very important because we don't know, you know, in 10, 20 years time, maybe 30 years time, will this still be here? Will it still be part of the trust? We don't know. So I think it's important that even at this time it's worth documenting it and documenting it at a time now where it's easily accessible to the public. So um, let's just take a look around basically. So this is, if you come with us, so like I said, the scale of this place is huge. Um, Most, most of the churches that are part of the trust are substantial churches. Like, I mean, to be fair, most churches are substantial, with the exception of a few, maybe Paddlesworth, um, which, uh, if you've seen this video or not before, I've done a video on. Um, but yeah, it's just an incredible, just an incredible bit of history. Uh, Symbolising winter time, isn't it? Yeah, yeah they all across the winter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But really, the demise of the church here really was because of lack of lack of population to su sustain it, which is pretty much the same story of a lot of churches, really. That unfortunately. You know, most churches were built to hold a certain amount of uh, people, congregation, and if it didn't sort of work out, then it didn't really um, facilitate anymore. So really, you could argue that it was part of a long-term money uh, finance scheme, really. Because obviously stuff like, a place like this obviously isn't, you know, it takes money for it to sustain it, so... Lovely coat of arms that's at the top there. Mm -hmm. 
Oui, mais je suis après. Yeah, you can see that there are no bells in there. Did you put your music up there? <laughs> Not cool. Have to learn how to play the organ. <laughs> So, this was St Michael's Church in East Peckham. Um, hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Uh, yeah, take care, everybody. Bye.